cycling for you now from Moulton Park. This time it's the 125s. Let's rejoin Roger Burnett and Barry Nutley. For the third time this afternoon, the 125s line up here at Alton Park for round five of the Super Cup Championship. Steve Patrickson out there in front after four rounds. Appleyard won't be taking part. He's got minor injuries, a bit secondhand, as indeed is Barry Stanley. Chris Palmer, Fernando Mendez is on the front row. The other rider who won't start is James Crumpton. So we've had two full starts. This is the third time of asking. The gap there for Robin Appleyard, who is sitting this one out. Pole man, Mark Norman. Red to green, and away they go. Let's cross our fingers. This time, as they go into Old Hall Corner for the first time, and Mendes didn't get the whistling start he's had previously. It was number 15, Gavin Morris of Rugeley, who seemed to get the jump. Not quite where he came from, I don't know. It's actually Darren Barton that's leaving from Fernando Mendes and Mark Norman. So we've got three of the uh, of the front row guys there, and there's bike number five, Mendes. Bike number 42, Mark Norman. And look at Mark Norman's bike. It's very, very quick as they're going around there, three abreast. Mick Lofthouse on bike number two is actually in that bunch as well. And Mick Lofthouse has not had a particularly good season so far riding the Yamaha. And he's trying to ride around the outside, but it's Mendes that takes up the running from Darren Barton. Darren Barton is a real charger. Um, he won't be put down. Um, he's got the wildcard entry at the British Grand Prix in July of this year um, and Mark Norman is in that leading bunch as well so two new names to the 125 class number five then on the team no limits Honda in second place 35 the man in the center of the front row at the start the 19 year old from Lancashire Darren Barton who as Roger Burnett said is riding in the British Grand Prix at Donington Park later in July Kevin Maudsley number four shaping up very well Lofthouse number two in your picture now on the Yamaha one of the only Yamahas if not the only Yamaha in the race it's not the only one but there aren't too many the Yamahas are now coming into their own a little bit better and suffice to say that Jorge Martinez the Spaniard rode a Yamaha into second place just yesterday in the Dutch TT so clearly the Yamaha factory are getting their 125 sorted Maudsley number four 35 Darren Barton leads Mendes and then Mick Lofthouse Lofthouse has managed the 15th place that's all he's done this season Darren Barton the youngster pushing hard in second place number 35 Mendes still in third and Kevin Maudsley who has had a win and a second place to his credit he was second at the opening round at Donington he then went on to win at Mallory and due to falling did not score in either of the two subsequent rounds but he's here in round five and very much in the lead Kevin Maudsley from Lytham St Anne's leading by the narrowest of margins from Darren Barton who is very keen to make an impression here on the national scene and is doing a good job of it the man who will be riding hard, though, is number 42, Mark Norman. Race leader changing again, Barton. There's 42, Mark Norman, who was the pole position man. So he's right on the tail end now of Mick Lofthouse. And Mark Norman is now keen to show the powers that be that he should have that vital second place wild card entry on the Grand Prix lineup at Donington. You perhaps didn't spot it, but we had between these two guys, number 35 and number 4, are coming together into Nickerbrook. They actually touched when they were alongside each other. Now, Maudsley on bike number 4, his nickname is the Angry Gerbil. He gets very rattled if anyone tries to steal his part of the road. Darren Bart is the young challenger at 19 years old who just won't take no for an answer. He's coming back at Maudsley again, but no, not this time as they go into... Lodge Old Hall Corner and down the avenue towards Cascade. So keep your eye on those two at the front. There's going to be some fairing bashing before the end of this one. Neither of the two series leaders uh, are in the running at the moment. As Mick Lofthouse scorches round on the Yamaha just to underline that they really do have that under control. He is scorching round. I was about to say that Steve Patrickson, the race leader, 
is not in the top six and lo and behold he has just got himself into the top six so the championship leader Steve Patrickson is now in sixth place and he is riding number three so race leader then Kevin Morsley number four then it's Darren Barton 35 then it's Fernando Mendes then it's Mick Lofthouse and there number three you can see Steve Patrickson right behind number 42 Mark Norman bringing up the rear of that little group there's Norman number 42 right behind number two Lofthouse and seven riders now made a breakaway and on the grass goes Maudsley that was a hairy moment for Kevin Maudsley dropped him to third Mendes now up to second through the deer's leap number 35 then Darren Barton now firmly established at the front of the race but 125 riding is all about tucking in each other's slipstreams corner speed has to be very high and they have to make themselves as small as possible. Well, Maudsley might have dropped him to third. He's currently now second on bike number four, but he was lucky it didn't drop him out of the race altogether. And Maudsley has failed to score in two of the rounds to the championship so far, and that's been through over-exuberance. And uh, I think we saw a touch of it there, but he's not going to uh, let Darren Barton get away. And he's coming back strongly, and he's bringing Mendes and the rest of the gang with them. And, these 125s, it really is spectacular stuff. And that 45-2 is just a second outside of the lap record from Darren Bart, just a shade over a second. So lapping quickly now, um, the pace hotting up as Mendes on bike number five tries to go around the outside, but it's Barton from Maudsley. Eighth position in the championship currently, that's the number 35 race leader. So the young man from Lancashire in for 20 points if he keeps going the way he is but his fellow Lancashireman Kevin Morsley number four has got other ideas about that because Morsley's in fourth and look at Patrickson Patrickson number three on the tail end of this so number three Steve Patrickson ahead of him Mick Lofthouse Steve Patrickson has to get closer now to the blue Yamaha machine ahead of him in order to get the toe and when I say toe I mean to get in the slipstream of the man ahead they're dropping him away these five are now dropping Patrickson a former Grand Prix campaigner who's having a lonely ride at the moment in fifth he's got to get closer this is only a seven lap sprint relatively short race Maudsley in second Darren Barton number 35 leads Fernando Mendes who was second here last year is in third place and if I know Fernando Mendes will try to do something about that certainly going into the last lap well it's going to be a good man that beats Darren Barton because I've noticed that he's the speed of his bike uh, is just a little bit quicker and um, so Darren Barton leading on bike number 35 is a real strong uh, challenger to with the established stars here and Morsley tries to challenge him again and we'll just see down this straight just who has got the fastest bike and in fact Maudsley levels and goes past him in a straight line but what's what's Baron Barton going to do straight back up the inside and pushes Maudsley wide so but it's cost him ground Fernando Mendes tries to go around the outside of him as they go into the shell oils in this corner the, the slowest corner on the track second gear for these little 125 bikes as they go now up towards the chicane Fernando Mendes is trying everything he knows on bike number 35, but this is where Darren Bart's particularly strong. He, he exits that chicane very quickly. And on our next camera shot, you'll tr see him trying to come out the slipstream there of Maudsley and pass him down into Nickerbrook, and that's very important for the last lap. Touching knees and elbows there into Nickerbrook. Number 35, Darren Barton, the 19-year-old in only his second national season and he will be receiving assistance from Robin Appleyard at the Grand Prix. Maudsley then dives through again. So this becoming a three, four, five-man scrap. Number three, Patrickson being dropped away. And Barton, number 35, eighth in the title standing from just two finishes. He won here at Alton Park in the first meeting of 1994. That wasn't in the Super Cup Championship, but it was at a national meeting. So he obviously likes the circuit, that's very clear, and just look how quick the bike is. Up towards Old Hall Corner, Darren Barton goes through again, number 35 into the lead. Kevin Maudsley and then Fernando Mendes having settled, having a much steadier ride than we've seen Mendes in previous seasons. 
Fernando Mendes in sixth place in the championship with a ninth, a fifth and a third place. So getting all better all the time. Can he improve on it? Morsley, Mendes and Mendes is going for second place. He's going for the lead and Fernando Mendes hits the front. Maudsley, Darren Barton relegated to third. What a tremendous race, Roger. Look at Mark Norman as well. So we've got Mark Norman in the third, Mendes leading, Kevin Maudsley second and Darren Barton relegated to fourth. And this is really, really exciting. The last lap is after this one. So uh, we're in for a real good scrap all the way to the wire. But Darren Barton's inexperienced show there because he could have pushed uh, Kevin Maudsley off the track virtually, and you can see Mark Norwood putting his elbow out. Look at that. That really is not on. He's trying to shield himself and make himself as big as possible so that Darren Barton couldn't get down the inside of him, and really that's not playing the game fairly. Well, maybe he had a touch of indigestion, but he certainly did stick his elbows out there for a moment. Maudsley has regained the lead from Mendes. Mark Norman is in fourth, Darren Barton is in third, and Mick Lofthouse is turning in a tremendous performance on the Yamaha number two. This, however, is the race leader. Through Deer's leap. Oh, away they go, over the line. Nothing between them. You could get the whole lot in a fair size marquee here. There's no problem with that. There's just two and a bit miles of the Alton Park circuit to do now and it really is anybody's guess on the last lap Darren Barton is going for the lead no Maudsley number four shuts the door Mendes having already had a taste of things at the front would like to do it again but now Maudsley has got a very quick motorcycle seems to be stretching that away Roger last word well Darren Barton's got himself back into second place. If Mendes doesn't pass him here, and he has, no, as he, Darren Barton's closing the door on Mendes. Well, that was good for Darren Barton, not good for Mendes, but he dropped across the front of him, and it's now definitely a two-horse race. It's between Maudsley on bike number four and Darren Barton on 35. Darren Barton's got to exit here faster than he's ever done before, get in the slipstream of Maudsley up the straight, which he almost is. If he can pull out of here and get him into Nickerbrook, I'd say he's won the race. Meanwhile, Fernando Mendes has talked himself out of third place. Darren Barton, the man who will represent the UK at the British Grand Prix at Donington Park. There is one other place to be filled from the home entry, apart, of course, from Neil Hodgson, who is our regular 125cc World Championship contender. So Maudsley also stands a chance of getting that place. He rode last year in the 125cc Grand Prix, and it could all go on the performance here. Maudsley then leads. He's also going for a second win in this Super Cup Championship, and that will elevate him up the table. No end, they're going for the line. Kevin Maudsley, number four, gets it. Darren Barton, second. Mark Norman got third from Mendes. Maudsley will be delighted. It'll be interesting to see which of these men gets that coveted place on the start line at Donington. Confirmation of the winner, Kevin Maudsley absolutely thrilled. Darren Barton rode him hard to the finish, but the Lytham St. Anne's man got the verdict by a Nats whisker. A typical 125cc race, Kevin Maudsley scraping home with the verdict ahead of Darren Barton, Mark Norman, Fernando Mendes, a good result for the Yamaha man Lofthouse, and Steve Patrickson tried very hard, but sixth was all he could do. Yes, yeah, Steve Patrick, uh, Patrickson sixth, and these are the standings after the fifth round. Kevin Maudsley's win shortening the gap between himself and the leader, Patrickson, to 13 points. We'll have more motorcycling after the end of the Warwickshire innings at about uh, 3.30.